Hey everybody. Hey everybody, it's Conrad and Joseph, Team Jesus. How y'all doing today in TV land? Man, we have a, just a quick recap from today. We decided to go street preaching since we loved it so much in Mobile. We did. We, we decided did. Gulfport needed Jesus. We did. And we went up to the north part of 49 and we got out our signs in a public spot and we just started preaching Jesus. And uh, Pretty cool. We had a really good time. People were uh, actually rolling down their windows and a lot of people uh, honking and giving us a thumbs up and uh, just waving at us. And we had some no's. There was some no's. Yeah. Yeah, there was one guy, I told him, I said, do you love Jesus? And I gave him a thumbs up and he was like thumbs down and I was like, wow, man. So we just uh, continue to preach the gospel and to uh, share share the word of God and the love that uh, He uh, gave to us to give today. Amen. And we had we're not we don't want to give too much glory to the devil, but this is too bizarre <laughs> to not leave out because as we're preaching, the most bizarre thing happened. This dude out of nowhere, dressed like the devil, comes yes. up across the street, walking through traffic cursing and stuff i mean cursing us out uh flipping the middle finger oh like, I, kept, what? I kept telling him jesus loves you man jesus loves you and he started approaching us and i'm like wow here it comes you know but uh, i he, thought he was gonna come over and hit beat us up right and here here it comes that he's too afraid to approach us so i i just which encouraged me to even preach the gospel more to him so I started preaching the gospel to him, and he said some blasphemous stuff toward me and Conrad, and flipped us off. And it was bizarre, man. It's just like I I'm was telling Joseph, "Am I seeing this? I mean, right. it's just crazy." So anyway, what was funny about that? This lady rolls down the window. She goes, "Y'all ran the devil off." I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. So then we went to another place. We street preached some more. Same thing, you know. The the idea is you got a couple of minutes of you know. 50 people at a stoplight you're yelling you're yelling mm -hmm. the gospel they can hear you and then when they go you kind of point the other way i did that some and then we decided to go to the hospital mm. and you know we prayed for some people that oh man the one guy that waved us over yes the older fellow waved us over and when i approached him he uh i said do you need prayer and uh he just said yes but what i really need is a hug and he pulled me in and embraced me as a father to a son, and uh, I gave him a hug. And and then by that time, Comrade was by my side, and we started praying for him. And I gave him and his son uh, a necklace, and uh, we their mother and the and the wife was in a, a car accident. So uh, something, yeah. Yeah, we got to uh, pray with them and be with them and comfort them during that time, and. Uh, Tell them about the other lady. The oh, yeah. Joseph says, I don't know, man. The Lord wants me to go this way. The Lord wants me to go this way. I'm like, okay, dude. And he could just all walking fast. <laughs> there was nobody there. So we kind of turned around. I'm like, oh, wow, I wonder if Joseph missed it, you know? Then all of a sudden, this lady comes out of nowhere. I'm like, well, Joseph, that has to be her. So I run up. I'm like, hey, you need prayer. <laughs> and she goes, yes, I do. It's not, it's not funny, but the thing is, she did need prayer. She had oh, a very serious situation going on in the hospital. Yeah. And Jesus, Jesus heals, man. That's why yeah. we do this. Yeah, some of these things are so personal that we don't want to really share them. Yeah, yeah. Know. But she needed. She definitely needed prayer. She was definitely moving, and we're believing God that He's going to heal that yes. situation. Pray for some more people, and then we met Ronald, which is our friend at the <laughs> hotel. Got to talk with him. He is so excited. He's at this hotel Susan and I stayed at, and he's just he's the sentinel for Jesus at this this hotel it's pretty awesome his light shines so bright you can't help but to love on him when you see him i mean ever since the first day i met him i knew there was something special about him amen he's just a, a lover of jesus and uh he's not afraid to let his light shine that's for sure man big time <laughs> his name's ronald y'all pray for him we want to encourage you to the reason i do this for documentation and to encourage you to inspire you to go out and show the love of Christ. I was talking to Ronald. I said, Jesus said, what you've done to the least of these, you've done unto me. Right. So what we do to the least is how much we love Jesus. Think about absolutely, that. Absolutely, absolutely. 
Amen. God bless you guys. Thanks for being in our lives. Until we meet again, dig deeper and go, go higher. higher.